Hooks one down the line. That is a fair ball. The Reds are going to catch a break with that bouncing into the seats. An RBI ground rule double. Bellinger has him on the board to one. You're right, they do catch a break. Castillo punches one to right and didn't run out of the box. What in the world? I don't know what happened there. He was Drills Bellinger in the knee. Three run. This game is tied as AJ Pollock takes a bases loaded walk. And for Pollock, the third time's the charm against Castillo. Peterson turns on it. High drive. Forget about it. He has ended the day. Team win. It's uh, it was nice. Um, pretty standard, honestly. It's uh, kind of scary to say, but yeah, he's that good. You kind of expect greatness every time he goes out there, and he uh, he does it. He continues to impress. So it's uh, it's special to play behind him. Hoping for a breaking pitch. Uh, not really. I wasn't really looking for much up there. Just uh, trying to get a good pitch. Um, CT's fast, so yeah, I really wasn't wasn't trying to do that. But it was a nice outcome. Feel good coming off the bat. Yeah, I uh, I got it pretty good. You, you hit your chest, so the reaction looked like you thought it was out. But you know, we didn't know even they're watching it. Did you know right away, or were you still kind of hanging there watching? Uh, it? yeah, no, I, th I th thought I got it good enough. So. Uh, yeah. What's it, what's it mean wearing number 42 on your, on your uniform today? It's, well, yeah, it's special. You know, Jackie went through so much um, to make this game better, to make uh, the world better, everything. So uh, he, it's, uh, yeah, you know, he just is a, a special human that, that went through a lot, and it's pretty cool that we get to <laughs> celebrate him and wear number 42, especially playing for the Dodgers, a team that he uh, broke through with, and uh, it means a lot. And it, it's uh, you saw the pregame ceremonies and all that. It was it was really special. Were you, um, <coughs> as a player, were you aware of what Jackie Robinson meant to baseball as you were coming up? Um, yeah, I think. I was drafted by the Dodgers, and uh, they do a really good job of uh, Dodger history throughout the minor leagues and stuff like that. So you understood uh, him, Don Newcomb, uh, you know, so many others that continue to uh, help change the game. And uh, it's the Dodgers are really good at that. Yeah. What was it like seeing so many ex teammates on the other side? Uh, what, what are your expectations, and how did he compare to when his other stuff? He was good, man. Um, I don't know what he says because he has such high expectations for himself, but us, he was he was really good. Um, hitting his spots, it looked like, and um, it's obviously just nice to have him out there on the mound feeling healthy. Um, yeah, he was good for us. Do you think you can home run off Kershaw in your first <laughs> bat against Yeah, I don't know. That was, uh, yeah, that's uh, maybe extra adrenaline. I don't know. Just a good piece of hitting right there. Uh, maybe a little both. I don't know. Um, it was cool to see him. You know, you miss all those guys. You spend a year with them, and more than a year, and they become.
become your friends, and now you got to compete against them, which is cool. But um, yeah, it was nice to see them all healthy, all in the same lineup. It was cool. Mm -hmm. Up against your former teammates. Oh, always. I mean, you know, I don't care. You know, Matt came back here last year, and and, and um, even before. Um, it's still strange, man, to see you know Matthew hit against me, and even Puig, you know, that's my boy. Both of them's my boy, and it's kind of strange, you know, watching them, you know, try to not give them eye contact. Um, like I say, it's kind of weird, man, to see Puig on the other uniform and, and Matt in the other uniform. Um, but yeah, I gotta do the job. What, what is? I know you're close with both of those guys. Yeah. Great hitting. I mean, you know, Matt's not saying anything. Week might, you know, talk to me about it. But, you know, we both, both, both of them, both of us got a good argument. You know, he missed that one. You know, I missed my location. Um, the first two locations that I throw, you know, clear swing and a miss on him. So, um, I love Week, man. So, um, pretty much, we might not talk about it. Can you talk to us briefly about what Jackie Robinson meant to you coming up as a young baseball player? Oh, I mean, you know, they, they paved the way for us to be here today, so uh, definitely mean a lot. Um, change the world, um, you know, uh, make a difference for us to be here. And, you know, um, like I say, man, God just put him in, on that spot to just, you know, change the whole world. You said you didn't want to make eye contact. I think your first pitch this week was like 96. Is, it a little, is there adrenaline going at all there? Just, just pitch, try to get out. So with Cody, uh, all I know is that uh, he took x-rays and they came back negative. So obviously there's going to be some soreness tomorrow, stiffness. Um, can't make a decision obviously right now on his status tomorrow. So we'll know more tomorrow. Um, what do you say about Jock's swing here? It's not song. It was... Uh, you know, he just comes up big in big moments. And, you know, you've got this closer, Glacius, with some of the best stuff in the game. And uh, Jock got a hanging breaking ball, stayed in there, and, you know, walked him off. So that was that was big for us, and we, we uh, pretty much stole one from him. Did you think it was going out? I, I thought, actually, I just watched the replay, and I thought it was out a lot further. So uh, the way Jock's reaction when he hit it, so I thought it was going to be in the seats. So apparently it wasn't. Uh, heavy air, but uh, just enough. Why do you think you guys stole this one time? Well, I, I just think that uh, I, I thought as, as far as a plan, uh, we did a great job, I think, with the plan with Castillo. Got him out in the fifth inning, and um, he matched Clayton pitch for pitch, or Clayton matched him pitch for pitch, and, um, you know, just giving up the lead later, you know, ninth inning, and so to get their closer in the game, and it could have went either way, but for us to – get freezer on base, big at bat right there, and, and Jock put the finishing touches on it. You never know what you're going to get from a guy that had a couple of rehab starts, whether he's going to be rested or whatever. It was clean everything you had hoped for tonight. Everything I had hoped for. Uh, you, you saw there were some close misses with the fastball. I thought the breaking ball, the curveball was really good tonight. Um, I thought the slider got better as the game went on. Uh, he mixed uh, in and out very well tonight and a lot of efficiency and uh, there was some soft contact you know the Suarez beat the shift and then obviously didn't make a great pitch with Puig and the homer but outside of that you know even that uh, six inning three punch I think and went back out there and got some more soft contact uh, in the seventh so very very good for Clayton. How impressive was it he got the whole Puig thing so much drama over the home run yet Clayton seemed to shrug that off and he did, and, and it's no surprise, and it was good. Obviously, there was a lot built up into this game, and those guys coming back coming back here, and for Clayton to kind of reset after that two-run first, really no surprise to us. Where did Cody get hit? He got hit right on the knee. Okay. Um, so I don't know exactly what part. Uh, so fortunately, I know there was the x-rays were negative, but it was on the knee. Okay, so there's not like a broken Correct. knee down. Correct. Okay, so it's like a nasty. Just a nasty bruise, that's right. How much of a relief was it for you that the x-rays came back negative? I mean, it looked pretty bad. It did. I mean, that's, that's 96 coming right at your knee, and, and um, there's not much, there's not much 
cushion there or, or flesh. So it looked bad. And that's one of those places you don't want to get hit. So Cody had the mobility and said it felt okay. But you just see him moving around on the bases and wasn't moving well. So want to get him out of the game, get treated, get treated, get some x-rays. So hopefully I think this is best case scenario. But how many days it is, if it is at all, uh, we'll know more. When you said Clayton slider got better, um, did, did it have more breaking? depth? depth. It had more depth, and I think the velocity, the 86, 87 all night was consistent. Um, but with him getting that slider in the fastball lane with the depth late, that's when um, he's at his best. How different is that pitch when it's 86 to 87 with that depth versus the 88, 89 it was for a lot of the time last year? You know what? I, I don't think that it's uh, it's much of a difference because I think it still misses bats and induces soft contact um, as long as that fastball has that same lane and, and command, which he did tonight. You will take this from him every time. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll take this from him every time. We'll, we'll uh, bank that. Um, and you never know, coming out of rehab and, and seeing how it goes and the emotion, things like that. So I think that I'm just really excited for Clayton because just to get that first start and go out there and compete like you knew he was going to, but to be rewarded and have the, have the uh, success that he did, I think that's a really good thing. Obviously, 70 pitch probably exceeded what you guys what you were expecting, but he's still building up. So what kind of inning limit did you have for him? It was kind of the 90-ish. Yeah, it was kind of 6 and 90, but he was very efficient. And so that's why uh, after that sixth inning, and we had already used uh, Verdugo to replace Bellinger, so to have really, uh, you know, the way he was throwing the baseball, to, to have Clayton go back out there, where he was at with his pitches, stress, all that made sense for him to go back out there for the seventh for me. Well, a special night here at Dodgers Stadium. It was going to be regardless of what happened in the game, with it being Jackie Robinson Day. Kershaw makes his debut, goes seven innings, and then they get a walk-off home run from Jack Peterson. There was a lot going on today, sure was. obviously, with Jackie Robinson Day, and then you got Clayton Kershaw, the ace, finally coming back out there, making his big league debut for 2019. And then you get Yasiel Puig in town, Matt Camp, about <laughs> five former Dodgers in the lineup for the Reds. We getting a home run, and then Jock Peterson finishing off and hitting a walk off. That <laughs> what a way to end it. Mentioned Kershaw went seven innings. What did you think of him tonight? I'll tell you, I thought it was great. It was a great performance by Clayton Kershaw. This is what the team needed. We know that the bullpen has been taxed quite a bit so far in the early part of this season. Ross Stripling did a tremendous job going deep uh, the other night, and then now. Clayton Kershaw doing the same thing. This is what you expect from your ace, but you don't really know, especially being on the DL for the first game and to be able to go out there and be vintage Kershaw. I know he doesn't like that word, but vintage Kershaw out there going deep and giving them a chance to win. Got to beat the teams that you should, and they do tonight 4-3.